All right, so I've got one making sure that every shingle union, or excuse me, every, this is probably not the best one to show right here, but every shingle union over, back up one, where the water can go in between. Hold on a sec, one. Let me show. There's no nail, there's no shingle union on this side, right? Mm -hmm. So there's nowhere the water can leak over there. What we're doing is we're actually lifting the shingle and it was just a misunderstanding. We're actually lifting the shingle. This is the nail, that's a textbook position for nail. It's six inches away from where the shingles meet right here. The water can come down here. The reason it was leaking before is the water was traveling over and it was landing on that nail right there and it was leaking. So our solution that we were gonna do two days ago was to do this, right Juan? Yep. But we put the, we put the silicone on top on some of the shingles and not on others because we didn't understand perfectly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna caulk this nail and caulk this union that's around six inches away. And that's how you put shingles down. That's every single shingle manufacturer, that's how you do it. But we wanna seal underneath so that no water can go on the nail that's right here or the shingle that meets six inches over. So we're sealing every one of these. One, I want you to look at both sides. Do you understand? Yep. Make sure that there's nothing on the other side, no nail, no nothing. So look on the right and the left. So we're actually putting an extra layer of protection beneath the shingles, not on top. I want this shit going off this roof, Juan. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Every last bit of the silicone is... Do me a favor, pull up a piece of the silicone. Take it down just a little further right there, Juan. Cover this as well. I don't want any any possible way it can move over towards that gap. This roof is very, this roof is very shallow. It's a 112, right? So you can see that's a low slope roof. And we've got water coming off here, splashing, hitting this roof and splashing. So it can go in to my point, hit a union like this and splash right. The water can splash underneath here where it meets and it can splash left as well. One put one little dab of silicone right there. I wanna see that dab run all the way down to protect this union and so that anything that sort of splashes or moves isn't gonna get a chance or an opportunity to go right or left where these shingles meet. And that's how you protect and prevent a roof that's a low slope roof from leaking. You don't put freaking silicone over the top. Although that can work, it looks like shit. We're pulling that up off the roof, no big deal, but we are gonna seal below the shingles to prevent water from going left and from going right and getting under the nails. Right one, are you looking left and right? Did you confirm the other side too? Yep. Let's, let's look at it. Look at the other side. See, there's no nails here. There's no shingles meeting. There's a shingle meet right here, right? Yep. But there's not one over here. So we don't have anywhere this can leak. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to seal that. That's not necessary, right? Yep. But this side was necessary, right? Mm -hmm. We went ahead and sealed underneath here. And that will prevent any water from splashing and going left or right. We're going to do that for every shingle on this roof, right? Juan, do me a favor. Go ahead and pull any of this silicone off that you were pulling off. It's coming off pretty easy. Not a big deal. It was just a misunderstanding, correct? Yep. You didn't understand what we were trying to do, right? Yep. And now you do, right? You got it? Yep. You sure? Sure. You can take pictures of what you're doing as well? Yep. All that silicone's coming off. It doesn't need to be there. We're gonna put the silicone to protect underneath right up here. Let's pull up another one right here. Okay. You put one silicone right there on that nail. That was partially right. I want you, don't, don't do it. Just stay on your rows. I just okay. wanna explain, that's all. You don't need to work, it's okay. I wanna seal this gap that goes up that's very standard and then this nail and I wanna seal it around there all the way up so that no water can ever go in this way behind where the shingles meet. And that just happens, it's a phenomenon that we catch on roofs that are not, not all that steep. This is how you protect these roofs from leaking, is you go underneath and you seal it, and there's technical bullet, bull, bulletins and specifications for sealing behind shingles. This is certainly one of them, and it is exactly what you do to make sure that it never leaks. So that's what we're performing here. I wanted everybody to see that. I'll be glad to draw it on a piece of paper and let somebody take a look at it, but that's ultimately it. We're gonna have all this caulk off the top of these shingles here shortly, and every single shingle underneath sealed like we're describing, right, Juan? Yep. Let's take a look at what you're doing here. Right, so we're sealing that 
So there's no way the water can travel this way and get in there. And there's nothing on that side, right? I'm mm -hmm. gonna show folks that. Yep. that. That nail is a foot almost over, right? Yeah. So there's no way the water goes that far. So that's what we want to see is either the, the nail being a foot over, if it's six inches and in in normal, normal patterning, I want to seal it just to be extra sure, especially if we've had problems keeping a roof dry that's a little bit lower slope. This was exactly what we're going to do to resolve any sort of possible issues and make sure this roof never leaks again. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. I'm Kirby Smith. See you later.